Next on the list, um, we have here some funny, well, not funny news, but some interesting news that if you're from the UK, you'll be familiar with. But if you're from if you're from outside the UK, you'll also be familiar with it. Pizza Express, the pizza branch made famous by Prince Andrew during his car crash television interview when he had to sort of, you know, um, persuade the public that he wasn't pedo, that he wasn't a nonce and didn't really go across too well in it. But um, you're familiar with him dropping the whole Pizza Express in Bolton as a credible alibi. So it seems like, you know, Pizza Hut or Pizza Express, sorry, has um, been affected by the pandemic too. Headline here is from the BBC saying Pizza Express may close 67 outlets and cut 1,100 jobs. Which, you know, makes complete sense really, um, considering the times we're living in. But it also got me thinking, who the hell goes to Pizza Express nowadays, right? It's a really odd establishment in the UK. Um, it's sort of like an upscale version of a pizza restaurant, right? A regular one that you go in and pick up your thing and go home. They don't really do anything different. I don't feel like maybe they were the first establishments to have like um, wood stove, wood stove ovens and stuff, right? Maybe they had one of those. Um, maybe it was the fact that they were all thin pizzas. That's the thing. Because, you know, I remember those era when I used to, when I was growing up where all the pieces we had were deep dish, right? That was kind of the thing that everyone wanted, I guess, because you wanted more bang for your buck. So you thought the, that was, again, that was when your our culinary uh, palate wasn't as refined as it is now, or mine especially. You'd always assume the deep dish would be more filling than the thin crust, right? That you do actually call it. It's not actually a thin crust, it's just what a regular pizza might be like, right? I guess a Chicago style pan fried, like dish sort of, you know, um, casserole thing is completely different but w as soon as a restaurant like a frank amanka pops up right which is essentially like um you know like an upgraded version of peace express and with a far better range of food and you know um far better experience sitting dining in as well you try to think to yourself like who would legitimately go to peace express but then i think about it and i think whenever i've passed or walked by the main branch in liverpool street it's always rammed and i think part of the allure of peace express is the fact that you can sit indoors sit indoors have a meal chat catch up with some friends maybe order a cheeky alcoholic beverage and be on your way but you know you can't necessarily do that in i don't know name your space a domino's right they didn't, didn't even have restaurants do they but um this is interesting um approach i guess it, it then maybe vindicates what domino's does right in terms of just being able to pick up and order takeaway there's no sitting in so i think those restaurants are probably going to be okay especially domino's they tend to not have that many branches in the uk it seems like um they have they they have them dotted around like i don't know east london's a good example or even south london they have like i don't know six or something it feels like and you have to just order um from wherever's nearest and hope it gets there on time but that model is fairly you know rock solid you're not gonna be able there's no need to cut back on um pizza what do you call it delivery points is it really there's no real point of it but a restaurant it's not going to work and it made me think when it was actually founded and you know what pizza express was founded in 1965 1965 pretty nuts isn't it that probably explains why it's been around for so long and it also explains why um they're still existing even in the midst of a frank amanka because that was only launched in what 2008 it feels like but you still feel like 2008 between 2008 and between now there was enough time elapsed for customers to become to be get you know to have that first experience going to a frank america first experience going to like a pizza pilgrims which came a bit later and to be like you know what i don't need to do this i don't need to be subjecting myself to these um because again pizza express also has you know a dog shit menu man the food is really expensive as well right for what it is i think a, a lady on this article actually mentioned it in one of these tweets further down says um this one says, uh, just cost my sister a fortune to go here for a birthday tea. I, I love when people say tea. Um, it is way overpriced, so not shocking that it may have to cut jobs. Sad for those that work there, but you can't charge a ridiculous price for a nine inch pizza. Exactly. That's what, it, It's even smaller than nine inch. I'll say it's probably eight. And don't get me started on the price of a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely madness. But, you know, what, what can you do? So I guess if the pandemic's affecting Peace Express, don't feel too bad for yourself if you're in a sticky situation at the moment. It seems like everyone is getting it in the bloody neck.